My name is Nicole Moore with So Much More. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to make your own pencil pouch. While you're watching, if you see something you like, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Get your supply list and cutting measurements on my website. Now let's grab our materials and get started. Using the cutting measurements from my website, cut off both ends of your nylon zipper. Be sure to move the zipper head to the middle. Next, take your zipper tab piece and cut this in half. Secure the zipper tabs on each end of your zipper using clips. After you've secured your zipper tabs, take these to the sewing machine and secure them into position. Then you'll take your fabric scissors and cut off any excess fabric. Adding your own labels is a great way to enhance any sewing project. I recommend Dutch Label Shop. They are an American-based company with excellent customer service. I love to add my labels to the interior of my pencil pouches. This label is woven so you can simply pin the label in place and stitch around the perimeter. For information about these labels and to get a coupon code, visit my website. The link is in the description. Now that we've prepared our materials, let's start assembly. Take your front exterior piece and lay it right side up. Place your zipper right side down and align at the top raw edge of your exterior fabric. Clip this to secure. Next, take your interior fabric and lay this over your exterior and zipper. Clip into place. Now we'll head over to the sewing machine, but first we need to put on our zipper foot. When sewing with a zipper foot, it is important to secure both layers of fabric and your zipper tape. Be sure you don't get too close to the zipper teeth or you will have a hard time opening and closing your pouch. When you get close to the zipper head, stop sewing with your needle in the down position. Lift your zipper foot and move the zipper head behind. Then realign the fabric and zipper tape and continue sewing. the interior fabric over and against the back side of the exterior and now we're going to apply some top stitching I usually make my stitch length a little longer about 3.5 does the trick now we're going to attach the back of the pencil pouch take your second piece of exterior fabric and put that right sides together and align it to the top raw edge of your zipper tape. Go ahead and use some clips to secure that in place. Next take your interior, this is the one that has the label that I've sewn, and align that right over the top and secure that in place you're going to do another stitching line just like the first time. For your next step, you're going to want to ensure that your zipper is open and take your exterior pieces and put those right sides together, secure those at the corners with clips, and then your zipper tabs, you're going to want to have those pointing towards your exterior fabric. Go ahead and pin all of the way around 
you are going to leave an opening on the interior side. That's where you're going to be flipping your pocket around. So you'll sew all the way around the perimeter, leaving an opening. We're all done with our zipper foot, so we're going to change our foot back to our regular presser foot. We're sewing all the way around the perimeter of the pouch. We're going to leave about a three inch opening in the middle of the interior. And if you're wondering about seam allowance, you can do a quarter of an inch. It's really up to you. I like to press uh, the opening back a little bit. It just makes sewing that together that much easier. So now we're just flipping the bag right side out. I use a chopstick um, and help me with the corners and make everything come out a little easier. We'll use some sewing pins to help secure that opening closed and sew that together. And then once you sew it together, you'll just tuck that right back inside. And that is how you make a pencil pouch. I even added a fancy tassel. If you like this video tutorial, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you sign up for notifications, you'll be the first to know about my next video. If you want more DIY, go to the link in the description and sign up for my weekly newsletter. Each week I send you inspiration directly to your inbox. Thanks again for watching. For more tutorials, head over to my website where there is always so much more in store.